Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Billy and Ribbon back with more Final Fantasy VI Randomized, and I am joined still by Greg. Salutations. Salutations, indeed. He says there will be more punishment. And indeed. I sincerely hope that there is, because it will probably be more entertaining than my own commentary, so I'm good with it. But before we start, I'm just going to, I'm going to see how far I can venture in the darkness, and Greg has some shout-outs to make. Two shout-outs. First of all, my own self-promotion. Uh, please check out my YouTube channel, Orsir11. It is all about hypnosis and other psychological effects. And I should point out that I use Greg's channel to fall asleep. Like, and that's, I, I'm not saying that to insult him, that's actually what it's for. He does sleep, sleep hypnosis, and it's actually very, very good. I know it is. Um, what my proudest comment on that is someone said that she used my videos to help her with her birth without any medicine. That's actually a really huge compliment. Yes, it is. Uh, less self promoting uh, I'm highly encouraging everyone, if you are allowed to legally uh, and religiously, to uh, get your blood marrow tested um, so that people who need blood marrow for transplants for diseases like leukemia can get the, uh, can get the marrow. Um, a friend of mine has recently been diagnosed with leukemia, and uh, he needs blood marrow very badly. Please, please get tested. I believe it's only a quick cheek, cheek, a quick swab with the inside of your cheek to see. Is it really that easy? I think it is. Wow. Um, I could be thinking of a different test. There's a lot of tests that I have read about lately, uh, but yeah, I think it's that easy. Well, you heard it. You heard it here, folks. Get your bone marrow tested, and that's actually a really good point. This guy's apparently only 26 years old. 26 years old in leukemia, amazing, and brutal. So, mm -hmm. yeah, good idea. Well, without any further ado, let's head over back over to Jean and see how he's doing in uh, South Figaro. <clears throat> Jean has worked hard to stymie the efforts of the Imperial troops, but now he desperately needs to escape. He's French. That's fine. Ooh, look! Camouflage! Yeah, I know. It actually worked out pretty well, didn't it? Nuts! Got to get your marsh on the fly! Right. I go, I go find safe points. Might as well save. Mm -hmm. Why not? So, if he's... Question. How can he get on there on the fly? Flies aren't big enough. Unless it randomized to a giant uh, fly. Ugh. Okay, now there's puns and then there's just reaching. I think that was reaching. Just a little. <laughs> now, one thing I discovered on my last playthrough, because you're not guaranteed at this point in the game to have a steel command. Um, oh, t t t see? $94 tonics. I'll take a few. And, ooh, cheap tents. Well, cheaper tents. Yeah. But I think I'm going to skip out on the tents. I've got some dried meat. I should be okay. Um, so anyway, what I found out was that just because there's no guarantee at a steel command, um, instead, you fight, and then it steals. Regard. Well, okay, you fight, and then eventually defeat, and then it steals. I forgot to equip my dude, though. Oh, Jean. You need- no, not that. Oh, he has no item command. That's right. Um... Do I have, ma I have man magic? Let's use some magic. Why not? Oh, that looks creepy in red. That looks very creepy in red. <laughs> it also looks highly ineffe ineffective. In the lesson, ladies and gentlemen, is that red poison does not work. Always mm. use green. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Ooh. Well, that was not effective. Remind me to equip Jean once we get out of here so he can, you know, actually have a fight command. Let's do the Love Sonata dance. I love the Love Sonata. Green Elf Fire. I like that. What? And now he's going to be dancing, which means he's going to do Elf Fire more than once. How very random. Ugh. Great. Okay. So, um... I have a sneaking suspicion that using dance was a bad idea. I should have just... Honestly, I should have just done, like, poison again, or just kept fighting. Oh, no. This was a bad idea. 
Okay, this is the only time I'm ever going to do this, but I'm hitting the rewind command. There. Sorry, folks, I just didn't want everybody to have to sit through everything again. Well, technically, we could just say the things that we said before. We could. Blah! He's blue! <laughs> of course he's blue! He's naked! Yes, well... I would be blue, too! That's... that's a fair point. Uh... These are a little tight, but the price was right! Whew! You are so, so lucky that I just forgot how to, uh, sing the Price is Right theme song. <laughs> I don't remember it either, come to think of it. Alright, let's equip, why don't we? Mithril knife, bard's hat, because apparently that's the best hat he can put on right now, that's pretty sad. Mm, iron. Sure. What relics have I got sitting around? That was armlet, that's useful right now. And a white cape actually improves some stats, so why not? Nothing new on the... Yeah, okay. Well... Did you check the clock? Yeah, I did. Ain't nothing. But at least this part with the whole merchant thing is pretty standard. Thing is, I've already gone and gotten all of the treasures here on my first mm. run through it. Um, I also don't remember what the shops sell, so I just want to check to see if there's anything I can get right now that'll improve um, Jean's lot in life, which... Nope. Doesn't look like it. I don't think he can use shields. And I really should have kept the Genja glove for him because, uh... I don't know, from the looks of it. Yeah. Whatever. Could be worse. The goggles! Do they, they do, do nothing? nothing? Well, actually, they kind of do something in this. Oh, hey, I didn't go get that one before. Oh, shush cat. Um, I think they fixed the, um, uh, evasion bug, but I don't remember. Let's go be a pink soldier, though. The cat is whining because she's outside. And yet she has company out there. She likes being in here because this is where the rats are. Oh, here we go. Oops. No. Yes, let's do that. A pink soldier. Yep. Neglecting yep. to say that this happens to be being filmed during Pride Week. Yes. Yes. Well, Pride Month, really. I don't think Pride Week starts until next week. Oh, well. Uh, it depends on where you're doing this. Oh, that's... That's just glorious right there. I love it. Well. That was a fair escape. That was, and I got- I gained a level! Okay, let's march through the streets of Toronto. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Soldier pride. <laughs> oh, awesome. Time's up, good, I'll take a break. And go visit, go visit the club. Uh, any good relics? I don't think so. Uh, I, you know, I could have picked up a true knight before. We were talking about that because Bannon didn't have a health command. Mm. But fortunately, um, one of Edgar slash Umaro slash Way is his name. Um, one of his commands is Phantom, as in the Esper Phantom. Mm. So I get a free cast of invisibility. Phantom that turns me invisible. It's wonderful. Well, anyway. It's a good thing I know this section of the game so well. Yes, I've come to steal your cider. Hiya! That's much That's better. better. Much better. Except he's really slow. I forget what his stats are like. I'll have to look them up. I feel like he had reasonable vigor, but other than that, he wasn't the most useful guy. No, 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 no. Oh, you got it? No, 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 no. You got that, French. <laughs> I knew you'd get it eventually. Was that a Nutkin suit? I don't know. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Look at that. A squirrel costume. Used by pretty much everybody. And what are its stats like? Wow. Wow. That's pretty freaking decent right there. Is that... can he use it? No. <laughs> um, meanwhile, stats. Um, yeah, he's not that impressive. Good stamina, but otherwise he's... he can take a hit. That's about it. Oh well. He's about to go pick up Terra. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see how that goes. 
In certain fan fictions, that actually does happen. Locke and Terra? Or mm -hmm. Shadow and Terra? Yes. <laughs> You mean right. there are people who actual there are people who actually ship Terra and Shadow? I'm sure there are. Oh, that's probably true. I don't think there's a fanfiction pairing that's off limits. Mm. Except possibly Realm and anyone, because that's terrible. Yeah, well let's give the let's give the grandson the password. No. I know I'm speeding through this if you're watching this, but still. Like, I've done this this particular stint so many times, and there really isn't much random about it. Mm -hmm. I think we're all just waiting to get to, um... The Tara. big reveal. The big reveal, yeah. I want to find out what her hair color is. I've only seen her in flashbacks where she's all monotone. Is that sad? The first thing I want to know is her hair color, of all things. No, considering the comic that you just showed me. That's a fair point. Okay, now, don't let's not talk about that. <gasps> oh. It's brutal. It's brutal. It was brilliant. It's a series of sprite comics that I made that were terrible. Um, hurrah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that secret passage. Really? It's mm -hmm. like the thing here. Change clothes? Yes. They want to be Shadow again. <laughs> I've seen her before. Of course! She's one of the Empire's generals. And she's green! Well, that's actually oddly uninteresting. She's hey. got the same color palette as Celeste does. That's it's actually pretty sweet. It's not easy being green in this situation. No kidding. Twinsies! This is what happens to traitors. Oh, goodness. Well, that's that's actually pretty, like, what? Hyatt! 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 I don't know. I don't know. She's gonna talk like William Shatner. That's the that's what I've decided. So the mighty Hyatt has fallen. Okay, anyone, any, anytime anyone says her name, that's how. How can you serve those cowards? Hold your tongue. Okay. Oh, for God's. And Greg is holding his tongue. Thank you, Greg. You're Thank welcome. <laughs> Isn't it true? Kefka's going to poison the people of Doma to the east. Shut up. Wham. I really want to know what she looks like. I, what's her equivalent sprite of Celeste being bound against the wall? Yeah. I don't think any of the characters have an equivalent sprite of that. So I'm interested to see what that's going to look like. <laughs> Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir. I can go for days without sleep. Sure you can. You're going to be asleep in five minutes. Well, let's go check it out. I'm interested to see her stats. I almost want her to be like a bigger powerhouse. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that's great. That is great. That's that's um, that's a metamorphosis right there. Um. Oh my goodness! I don't even know what to do. Like I just kind of want to stand here and admire this for a moment. Just push pause just for a little bit for the fan service. <laughs> um, oh God! All right, let's get her out of there. Oh dear. <laughs> How did you change your appearance like that? Please. And you are. I'm with the Returners, named Jean. Returners, I used to be ge I used to be General. Yacht. Now I'm just a common traitor. Let's go. <laughs> Question mark. Exclamation. Right. That. You. Take me along. Thanks, but no thanks. I can barely walk. I'm grateful, but even if you got me out, you'd never be able to protect me. No, I think I'm better off here. I know I'm doing a terrible Shatner voice, but deal with it. I'll protect you. Blink, blink. Trust me, you'll be fine. Okay. Let's go. Wait. This soldier has something important on him. Clothing? Yeah, well. Hey, okay, they've, stats. We've stats. stolen them several times already. That's three capture three characters so far that have that have had capture. And mimic. And magic now. Hmm. Well, she's actually pretty well rounded. Good fighting skill. Reasonable fighting skill. Reasonable magic power. She can pretty much do whatever she wants. I wonder what she comes equipped with. Knives. Knives! It's always knives. 
It's like she can never equip anything more interesting than that. Well, she can wear the Nutkin suit. Holy! And I like the impact it has on her stats. That's pretty wonderful. Does she start with any magic? No. Well. You know, there's a certain amount of it that's wishful thinking. Oh well. She can hit. And she can mimic. And I'm sure if um, her leveling up is the same as usual, she'll get magic very, very quickly. Except it isn't. Okay then. Um, there's no guarantee that she'll get uh, any magic at all naturally. Hmm. Now, Esper magic, that's another thing. Because the Espers are randomized, and, well, I mean, the Espers themselves aren't randomized, Clock. but the, um... Well, yeah, but these are clocks that are part of the puzzle. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't get the clock key. Duh. <laughs> Wait, this guard has something important on him. Nah. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Kyle, how many times have you played this game before? There's a clock key in his pocket. Let's take it. Take the clock key. Ah! And some bread, too. Bread. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. I do think it's amusing that both she and Celeste have the exact same color palette. Hair, clothing, everything. How are you going to tell them apart when they're when you're choosing characters? Simple. Ponytail and no ponytail. That works. <laughs> Alright, well let's go get the treasure hall in here. Actually, you know what? We're at 15, 16 minutes. I'm gonna call this one a video. Um... Hello, video. <laughs> oh, God. And we'll pick up the next one right away. Because... The heck with it. So, this has been Bidium Riven and his friend, Greg! Ciao. Ciao!